guys welcome to another what's eight in a day as a vegan on swimming world and um, today is a saturday and i've started it as i start most saturdays by going to meet my mum for a nice walk um which we've done so we walked um just about three miles and um then we go and have a coffee um and that's all in a little town that's quite near um where they're probably about 20 minutes away so i've actually already had what i would call breakfast and i didn't film it so i'm really sorry but it's not strictly slimming world sorry my keys just fell <laughs> um it's not strictly slimming world basically um after our, i don't eat anything before we go for our walk and then afterwards um we've both got in the habit of having a breakfast smoothie at this place they're not particularly big they're like this size um maybe a bit bigger like that um but it's got it's literally oats banana raspberry blueberry and flax seeds and um and then coconut milk so i count it as my healthy extra b part of my healthy extra a or one of my healthy extra a's should i say and then obviously everything else is free on there um because i have that instead of breakfast i count it as my breakfast even though i know that slowing world um doesn't count smoothies usually you normally have to send them so I do bend the rules slightly on a Saturday um, when I have one of those. Um, I also had a um, like a it's like a cold coffee drink um, that they make in this particular um, coffee shop that we go to, and um, it's essentially coconut milk and um, like a vanilla um, flavor, and then espresso. So I count that as my other healthy extra A. So right now, as far as I'm concerned, I've had both my healthy extra A's and my healthy extra B on one smoothie and one coffee, um, like iced coffee, I suppose you'd call it. Um, so now it's actually lunchtime. It's nearly one o'clock and I've just got back from um, the, the town where we go and I'm just in my car in Tesco. Um, I'm just going to go and grab a couple of bits that I want to get. Um, and then we're gonna go home and make some lunch because I'm really quite hungry now. Right, so I made a little bit of a mistake and the tofu that I was gonna use for lunch, I just realized went out of date a couple of days ago. So that's not really much good for me, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna open the packet and smell it and see if it smells really bad because quite frankly, I really wanna have what I was gonna have. This is it, it looks okay. There's no nasty bits on it. So, I'm just scared. Oh, shit. Just dropped it in the sink. That's fine. Okay. Um, right. If it smells really bad, then I'll have to come up with something else to make. It smells like tofu, so I'm going with it. I've chopped it into these delightful little squares um, because look how perfect they are. Look at that. That is not a perfect little square of tofu. I don't know what is, but it's okay. It just smells like tofu always smells. So I'll now tell you what we're gonna make for lunch. And that is a kind of Greek salad. And usually for my Greek salad, I like to make a thing I call tofeta, which is basically tofu pretending to be feta cheese. So the way that I usually achieve this is chop it up into these delightful small blocks. Then I like to marinate it with a load of lemon juice, salt, and oregano, like dried oregano is absolutely fine. Um, and a bit of olive oil. Yes, you have to use some sins because olive oil is life. So when you've done that, um, I try and like marinate it for like an hour or something and then I like to bake it. Oh, and loads of garlic, I forgot the garlic. So loads of garlic. And then I like to bake it. Now today, um, I said to you when I was sat in Tesco car park, like a loser on my phone videoing myself, that it was already like one o'clock. So the problem was I came home and it's now nearly half past two because I spent my whole time watching YouTube and faffing about and now I'm really hungry because I still haven't eaten anything, obviously, because I was um, wasting time watching YouTube. So um, I'm going to fry this um, with some garlic and some dried oregano and lots of salt and then I'm going to put lemon juice over it afterwards and I'm going to put the rest of my Greek salad together in the meantime. And I'm going to show you a really funky bowl I've got because I'm really excited and I only got them the other day and they are amazing. Right, we've got the garlic and the tofu 
in one teaspoon of olive oil in my non-stick pan. Okay, now I need to add in oregano, like loads. And <laughs> here's the back of the pack. <laughs> and lots of salt as well. So I'm gonna take a big pinch like that. And then, yeah, don't do that with wet hands, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to stir that and then I'm going to zest my lemon if I manage it. Right, I've just um, zested two lemons. Here's the mess. And um, don't use this side of your grater because it will F you up. So there's probably some skin in here. Anyway, use the teeny tiny holy side and you get this nice, nice zest. Um, I'm going to throw it in this smoking heap. Give it a stir. Greek salad is very, very nice and easy to make. I say Greek, I mean Greek, like, because mine's probably not very normal Greek salad, but I don't know. So here's my tofu. I've turned the heat off and I'm just letting it cool down a little bit. That's literally tofu, garlic, one teaspoon of olive oil, probably a teaspoon of oregano, and a um, zest of two lemons. Then I've got these two lemons here. I'm gonna juice them in just a sec. I'm actually gonna pour them straight over that. Um, it's quite smoky in here, so I should really put the vent on. This is one of my gorgeous new flat bowls. So my salad is going to look beautiful in there. And then Greek salad is literally just like red onion, peppers, cucumber and tomatoes. Can you believe that these were 45p? So I bought three packs, obviously. Um, and I'm going to put mine on some spinach as well. Um, I don't think that's very traditional, but I don't care because I need my spinach and need my greens. And um, then we'll probably put a little bit more olive oil on it. And, oh, and olives. That's the other key ingredient. You need olives, which I haven't put out here, but I do have some. Right, I'm partway through prepping, prepping my salad. And I'm just going to squeeze my lemon juice over. Oh, apparently I've got a cut on my hand. <laughs> and then I'm going to mix that round. Right, we're so nearly there. Last ingredient is calamata olives. So, actually, I wonder if that's back to front for you. <laughs> um, anyway, whether it was or not, they are olives. So, um, I'm probably going to use 16 calamata olives halved, which is one and a half sins per eight olives because they're in brine. So, that's um, three sins plus two sins for the olive oil I use. That's a five sin lunch. Okay, it's really hot out here, <laughs> but um, I have made my lunch. That's, yeah, it's a big bowl, I'm not gonna lie. Look. Oh, so good. I'm so looking forward to eating this because it's been so long since I've eaten. And I'm really, really hungry. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna mix this all up, obviously. Uh, but we've got tofu, cucumber, red pepper. We've got some fresh basil, red onions, calamata olives vine tomatoes, more calamata olives, and spinach, and of course our oregano, lemon, garlic, tofu, and I've scattered it all with some extra salt. And I am so hungry, I'm looking forward to digging in, and yeah, bye. Tell me that does not look amazing. Oh, shadow. Yum. This is five cents, and worth everyone. Right, I'm just gonna have an ice lolly. I like these. They're three and a half sins each, and they're yummy. So good. So, defo recommend those. But they also do this other flavour, which is raspberry and pomegranate, which is also three and a half each, um, which are pretty good too, but personally, I prefer the orange. Oh, and these are ones from last year. <laughs> Mango, lime, and coconut, and they were really, really nice. And they are, oh look, two sins each, that's good. Else ever read two books at once because I do. What is that on my lolly? Oh, it's ice, it's okay, <laughs> don't worry. Aww. Um, yeah, I always read two books at once, like because I never know what I'm in the mood for. So, yeah, hi guys. So, I just got back from Sainsbury's, I popped out because I've been thinking about these, they're so good. So, I'm gonna have this for tea. Um, I was gonna be a bit more creative, but it's now really late because I've um. Well, because it's so light and so nice, I just didn't notice where the time was going. So, yeah, these are like 
I guess a chicken Kiev, although obviously not chicken, and it's got like satay sauce in the middle, and they're so good. But do you know what the best thing is? They're nine sins for the whole pack, so that's for both of them. Um, so I'll show you them like properly when I cook them, but I'm just gonna have both of these with some vegetables for my tea. Um, I'm pretty sure that keeps me within my sins. I do get 20 still. Um, um, yeah, so I'll double check later, but that's what I'm gonna have. Okay, here's dinner, and this may not look very inspiring, but this does not give away the amazing taste that is in these things of joy. Um, so I'll just cut into one in a moment. I just need to take a quick okay. picture. So, look at this. I don't know how well you can see, but they are full of satay sauce. And don't let this artificially golden looking crumb put you off because they taste so good, seriously. So I 10 out of 10 recommend these. They are such a treat. So eat them. Hi, it's future Leanne. And um, I didn't ever film an outro <laughs> for this video. So here it is now, surprise. Um, my hair's longer. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This wasn't the most inspiring what I eat in a day, but hopefully it's just given you a couple of different ideas of things you can make. And I hope you join me next week for another what I eat in a day. And then the following week, there'll be another meal prep video. So keep with me and um, yeah, you'll get some, some ideas, hopefully. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Hit like if you like the video and don't forget to hit subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos and um, the little bell if you want the, um, notifications. Okay, bye!